Hey friends, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a review on this new product by Iconic London. It is called the Brow Silk and it's kind of like a more sophisticated way to do soap brows. And if you don't know what soap brows are, pretty much it's been a trend for a while to have these wispy brows, kind of like what I'm wearing today. But people are achieving it with soap. So basically you run soap through your brows with a brush. Some people use a spoolie, some people use a toothbrush. And then they apply the product and it gives you like this nice, wispy, more natural brow, which that's been super on trend. So I think it's really cool that Iconic Linden came out with this product to do, recreate that look. And of course, the only downfall with soap brows is that you don't have the cool packaging like like this product. So it's this is easier to travel with. And you don't have to be carrying around your big bar of soap because I know that that was a struggle. Now, I personally never tried soap brows, but I can see where it would be a little annoying to, you know, carry around your bar of soap. I think Iconic London is really innovative in coming out with a product because I haven't seen anything like this on the market, so I think that's really cool. Well, if you want to see my first impressions and final thoughts, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm actually low-key scared to try out this product. I don't know how it's going to go. That's why I wanted to do my first impression and then tomorrow, if it doesn't work out today, tomorrow do stuff differently and then go out through my day and then do check-ins and stuff like that because for some reason something inside of me is telling me that something's gonna go wrong it's not gonna work out i just wanted to give myself a chance to figure out this product because i've never tried out something like this you've probably seen people do soap brows on youtube i personally never tried it and i really want to i'm really starting to really love that feathery brow look so when this product came out i was like oh yeah i need that give it to me this retails for 28 dollars. you can get it on iconic london's website i don't know if they sell it anywhere else and it comes with a brush which the brush it looks like a toothbrush. It's really big, so that's a little concerning. I feel like it's going to be too big for my brows, but I don't know. So pretty much, it just says you can use it wet or dry. And that's the thing. It's like you really have to play with this. Like, I don't know if I'm going to like it wet. Am I going to like it dry? But today, I'm probably going to try it out dry. I think you just use it kind of like a setting gel. Like, it doesn't really say much. It just says apply it into your brows. And it's going to give you, like, really feathery brows, like, on the model online she has really beautiful fluffy brows and those are the kind of brows that i want to achieve with this i'm really nervous guys i hope this works out but if not i mean either way i'm still gonna you know check in with you tomorrow it just looks very like waxy and you can't really see it just looks very white on camera but it looks waxy oh it's, it's a very hard consistency there's something on here like i'm like trying to push on it and nothing really happen so and it just is applied directly to brows to style also I'm nervous about like the products I use today I'm using the benefit precisely my brow pencil so I don't know if this is gonna work better with a powder or a pomade what do I do do I just I don't know if that's enough I don't know I don't know what I'm doing I do not know what I'm doing okay I think there's enough product on here I don't know if you can tell but, but this is really big. Guys, I don't think I'm doing this right. Does it look any different? I feel like this brush is really big. I think it could have been smaller. What do I know? Interesting. It's very waxy. I think it kind of smudged the product around my uh, brow pencil. So I'm going to have to go back in and kind of fix that. But I think it's working. I wish it looked a little bit more like bushy and feathery. But I think you just have naturally have to have like long brows for this. Hmm. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna apply a little bit more product on here. And then I'm gonna go in with my pencil and try to fixes because you can kind of see that's kind of smudging the product. I feel like you can see that's a little bit bushy but not too much. Like I wanted to do more. I don't know if I should try this wet. I'm going to apply some on the brush 
And then I'm gonna wet it with some like fix gloss maybe. Oh, it feels really weird wet. I don't think it works as good wet for whatever reason. Or does it? I don't know, can't tell. Ooh, I think I like this brow better. I don't know if it's because I use a wet or if this brow is just, you know, my better brow. I'm also very curious to see how this will hold up throughout the day. Okay, I think that was fairly easy. I don't know why I was so ner nervous about this. Now, do I look like the model? Not so much. I am going to maybe try to use this product first tomorrow and then my products, like fill in the areas that really need, you know, help. Maybe that'll give me a better brow look. Because right now it kind of looks like it's too filled in. I don't know, you tell me in the comments below what would you do in this case? Have you used a product like this? What are your steps? But tomorrow I am going to try this out and do, you know, different technique and then check out throughout the day. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. But one second, before I leave for today, I do want to say that my brown pencil is kind of smudged here, so maybe a brow product would be better for this. I don't know. So that's why I wanted to see how this would play out with different products, if you know what I mean, guys. I will see you in my check-in, which for to me is tomorrow, but you is like right now. Okay, I have a confession. I lied to you guys. I told you that I was going to film the day after I did my first impression on this product, but that was on a Wednesday and today's a Saturday. I actually got sick. I'm still pretty sick. So I couldn't do that for you guys. I tried, but I just sounded really bad. I felt really horrible. So it's kind of good because I've been playing around with this product and now I can give you a little bit more of my thoughts. The day after my first impression, I applied it first and then I applied my brow product, which I still use the brow pencil, but it only lasted about 30 minutes. And when I looked back in the mirror, my eyebrows were like not up and wispy. And they looked bad because obviously when you brush them out, they're covering sparse areas that you might have. And so when they go back down, your eyebrows just don't look that good at all you know I, I don't know like I don't know how to feel about this product I'm kind of sad that it doesn't last long I don't know what else I could do for it to last longer and give me that wispy effect so I'm thinking maybe this is only good for pictures you take pictures on the gram and stuff like that but to have all day and wear all day or an event or anything like that I don't think it's gonna work out but that's why I'm gonna try it again today because maybe with a powder product it'll last longer but I just don't see that happening or I don't know if I'm putting too much am I putting too little again I'm just gonna try it again and see how it works so I'm just gonna brush this product in my brows I don't have anything in my brows at the moment you can probably tell like I don't know how much to coat my brows with this stuff I just don't know when to stop am I doing too much product and it's getting heavy and that's why it goes down, I'm not putting another product. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you've experimented with these wispy brows. Or if you've done the soap brows. Do you do a lot of product? Or just enough? I don't know. And right now I'm not really putting any additional product. I'm just kind of running this little brush through my brows. See, so it looks pretty cool right there. But... There's some little areas where I would like to just fill it in a little bit. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, Duo and the color Dark Brown. And mainly I'm going to focus with the darker shade in here and I'm going to ankle brush. And I'm really going to make like some little stroke-like, stroke-like, hair-like strokes in my brows where I'm a little bit more sparse. See, like I feel like... Even in this two minutes that I applied the product, the brows already kind of went down. That's annoying. Like, all right, so. I'm barely applying any product. Here is where I would like a little bit more hair. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with how this is turning out. 
Okay, I'm gonna apply a little bit more product to this other brown. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm not loving it too much, and I swear, like as soon as I apply uh, some of my brown product, it just this goes down. Like it doesn't last long, and it's so annoying because I'm not gonna be walking around with my little brush and little brow silk to apply it. That's just not who I am. It just doesn't last long, guys. And so it's really annoying. I'm really sad. I really wanted this product to work. It does work. But not, it's not long wearing, so that's really annoying. But it also doesn't claim to be long wearing. So maybe if you're a makeup artist and you do a lot of photo shoots and you do a lot of like editorials type stuff, this will work for you. But also you have to be on site and be retouching it like every five minutes. I'm just going to have to check in with you maybe in an hour so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It is currently 12.06 p.m. So I'm going to be wearing this all day. And, you know, just checking in and you can tell me, like, if, did I do anything wrong? Should I have done anything differently? But, yeah, guys, I'm actually filming another video. It's a review on something on my face, so keep a lookout on that if it hasn't been posted yet. I will just check in in a little bit. Okay, guys, I want to do a quick little check-in because it hasn't even been that long. It's been about 40 minutes. It's 12.50. And, um... See that like everything just goes back down this one is still up for some reason but this one's not i don't know what's going on do you feel my struggle do you feel my pain it's just so annoying like it looks so pretty when you first apply it but it does not last long like look how look how dumb i look like this brow's all wispy and you know has this shit together but this one's like meh like what so yeah so after my last check-in, ran my brush through my eyebrows again to fix them and it is currently 5.15 p.m. and look, look where they are. It's just not, it doesn't hold up. Like, I'm gonna have to be walking around with this little brush and we're doing my brows every hour and people are gonna be like, what the heck, why is that girl using a toothbrush for her brows? So sad. Okay guys, so YouTube should just fire me. Just kidding, obviously this is not a job. But I should be fired from YouTube because it is currently Monday. I kind of didn't finish my check-in on Saturday. <sighs> but I'm here and we're gonna finish this up. And plus, you know, when stuff like this happens, I can give you a well thought out review. I've actually been wearing this brow product for five hours. I applied it at noon and it is currently six o'clock actually. Hold on, what time is it? Yeah, I think it's six o'clock. So no, just kidding, like six hours. And guys, look. It just doesn't stay. It doesn't hold up. And I don't know what to do. Like, I like the way it looks when I first apply it. But I swear after 30 minutes, it looks like this. And it's very sad. It makes me really sad, actually. Because I want my eyebrows to look pretty and wispy all day. Look, the product, I can feel it right now. Like, I'm trying to brush it up. And you definitely can. But that's just really annoying that it doesn't stay put. These are my final thoughts. I think it's a cool product, very innovative. I don't think it's worth it if you are a girl on the go. You know, if you're just busy, busy mom, busy student, whatever, you don't have time to be touching up. Now, if you do have time, I think Iconic London should make the brush smaller and have it to where it comes in the compact so you don't you're not carrying this big thing that looks like a toothbrush and having to comb your brows you just kind of have your little compact you know what i mean with the brush in it they should do that if you are more of like an instagram girl post a lot of makeup looks and stuff like that then maybe you like this product because it's going to last just enough for you to get through the pictures and obviously when you're doing pictures you have time to touch up and stuff like that but other than that i don't think i recommend this product guys it's a nice product for like 30 minutes you know what i mean so am i going to repurchase this probably not unless they change a the formula or if i find out that i'm doing something wrong which could possibly be it but i've already worn this like three times three or four times i don't even know now and I just can't get it to work for me I've used a brow pencil and I've also used the brow powder and it just doesn't stay it doesn't matter I don't think it matters what product I use over or underneath it it's just not going to last and I don't know am I, I don't know if I'm applying too much or I'm applying too little 
I don't know, I've tried both ways. You tell me in the comments if you have tried this product or you know if I was doing something wrong. But yeah, guys, I don't think that this product is worth it, unfortunately. I really wanted to love this product. I was really excited for this and I think that's all I have to say. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe because you know it's free 99. And don't forget to turn your notifications so you can get notified because I'm very random with my videos. So make sure you're notified if you want to see more videos. And like this video if you like these kinds of videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to take my Anastasia Bellevue. So I'm going to take my Anastasia